Uh, I think we should be live, hopefully. There we go, I think we are. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Super League here in Gava Racing. And uh, back once again in the glorious Silverstone. And uh, no, Play Dutchy is not racing. And uh, you would have all thought it would have been the grand return for him. Nope, he's still in the commentary oh. box with me. How are you doing, Dutchy? I'm good, and you? I'm not there on track. Something no. happened in glitch or something from this game. Yeah, I it know it's called right. Master, so... Yeah, it should be alright. Just, just retire the car on the formation lap. It should be alright, but... Uh, uh, yeah, welcome back to Silverstone. And the uh, welcome back to Super League, the fastest league here in Gava Racing we have. And a uh, quite a good championship fight. We now have, after last week in Austria, which uh, Dutchie abandoned me um, in no, Austria. You. Yeah, you did abandon me. I have to work. <laughs> That's abandoning me. No, I was supporting you in the chat. Oh, f fair enough, there we go. Um, but yeah, it was an exciting one out in Austria. We had the, the leader actually uh, retire, probably the championship leader retire from the race ZTEC Oreo. So now... Um, the, the grid is very close. Maris came from 11th to win the race, which means Maris now leads the championship, Dutchie, by uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. He now leads the championship by. That's Maris in the racing point, by the way. His name isn't there for me for some reason. But yeah, Maris now leads the championship by 11 points. We see Tech in 88 points in second. At him, not far behind, only 18 points behind Oreos in third. And then there's a further, uh, a further 12 points to Rick Holt behind. And then Chris X Stars isn't racing anymore. But uh, the next person to that is Nabil Sick, who is 40, on 47 points behind Rick Holt. So. Yeah, championship battle is still on after Austria. Now we come to the um, the wonderful Silverstone circuit. Time's already coming in. 24 fours for the top two. Mares and Atoms. He took over to a 24-6. Jacks over 24-7. And then into the 25s for the rest of the grid at the moment. But uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an exciting one here, Dutchie. Yeah, that's a tricky track. High speeds and you can lose the rear. Yeah, it is definitely. So quite a few people spinning out yesterday in the the Premier Series, um, and I uh, have to see the Super League drivers can keep it together here. But uh, I believe it's like oh, I can't even remember how it's like something like ninety percent of this track. No, it's not that much, is it? I don't even know. There's some percentage of this track you're um, you're on for full throttle, which is uh, quite crazy actually. So I think yeah, five to eighty percent. Yeah, I think it's something like that. But uh, yeah, there's uh, only a few people left to put in some times. Rick Holt, Dag Schneider, and Jetsy. Funny enough, all the Dutch people have not put in times yet. Um, so I have to see how they fare. And uh, we do actually have a uh, a penalty. I believe it's for Born Evil. But, uh, but it was uh, Bonneville has to serve it in this league as the claim was made in the Super League, not in the Premier. So she's racing in two leagues, but because the claim was made in this league, that's where it's going to be searched. It's an LLP2, so it gets deducted three places and gets three license points, which the license points will tally up actually on top of the total license points for F1. But uh, nice to see everyone hopping into the chat here. Holland's here. Castel, uh, Ca Cas is it Cast Castengel? Castengel? Did I Castengel. say that right? Castengel. Castengel. Yes. Not Tangle, but Stengel. 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 Yeah, Castengel. Not Stengel. 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 Yeah. Stengel. No, Stengel. Not Stengel. Stengel. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has to change his name because the English can't say it. <laughs> uh, got I've lost it in here as well. Black Country, welcome to the chat. It says looking rain in ten minutes. Could possibly be some rain in ten minutes. I don't know. That'd be the end of the session, no. Uh, NDM Gaming, we don't talk about him. Uh, <laughs> shirtless Timmy as well. Shanks this here as well. But yeah, hello, welcome everyone. 
Super League is rolling. So we've got a few people on some laps at the moment. Rick Holt just starting his lap. Jet C just coming through Brooklyn's and Lafield now. He hasn't put in a lap as yet. A lot of people on an outlap, Dutchie. <laughs> a lot of people on some outlaps at the moment. Let's uh, have a look here with Rick Holt as he comes down the uh, Wellington Strait. Down towards probably what how I feel the most difficult part of the circuit. Uh, through Brooklyn, such a long sweep and left-hander into a long uh, right-hander here. Don't want to go too wide onto the gravel. And uh, now past the old pit lane. It's down towards Cops. Flat out and qualifying, Dutchie? I, I, I believe so. Yeah. Because of the, the car's lighter, of course. Yeah. So um, I don't like Mackets and Backets. You go in full fun. commitment, and then the second part of Mackets and Backets, it's yeah, just crease your butt and hope for the best. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan of it, but yeah, it just depends on how you like it. But careful to go through store there. Just come down the hangar straight down into Vale. Vale consisting of two corners, and then round the final corner of Club down the Hamilton straight to the finish line and that's going to be a 24-7 for Rick Holt puts him into fourth place so Dutchie the top four in the championship currently all top four in this qualifying session here well, hopefully we get a close racing hopefully we saw some uh, we saw a top five battle yesterday in the premier series which unfortunately i wasn't involved in wasn't quick enough but so some, some really good battles there with the top of the premier series uh, yesterday and uh, we saw some good battles uh, in the freshman as well for the lead of the race so hopefully we're going to see some stuff here jetsy on a lap at the moment flying through maggots beckett's yeah, and then the through chapel two tens up he's coming uh the last two corners he is down round through club now down the Hamilton straight to the line. What will he do? And he goes pole position by a tenth, 24-3 for Z-Tech Oreos, and uh, puts himself up into pole position a tenth ahead of Atom. And there's some pe uh, people moving around the places. Geek Fusion's just gone eighth place. It's going to be some more times coming in here. So I'm just trying to see where Navel Sick all the way down in 12th place, but he comes around the final corner. He's five tenths up, Dutchie, and he got second place. Beats Atom by two hundredths of a second, and Mares to a hundredth ahead of Atom. So close up there, Dutchie, between those guys. So close, hundredths between them. Well, Mares is already two tenths off, so yeah, he's not right, going to uh, get a better lap. You have to see whether still six Jack's minutes left. Though. Oh yeah, Pearson Jack's second place, two hundredths behind Oreos at the moment. It's really, really close qualifying here in the Super League. Two cent on the lap at the moment. Always oh, ran very. He's gone very wide through cops. I think he's just letting the traffic go through. Yeah, that was Wiggly style following through. Bon Evil as well. There's a Mercedes there. Then it could possibly be Piero. Yes, it is. Everybody flying through. Michael Beckett and Chapel here. It's Seems to be a lot of drivers in this area. Let's keep an eye on if any of those are going to put in some laps. Mares comes into the pits. So he's not going to be able to improve. I don't know if Nabil Sick is on a flying lap or not. He seems to be going very quickly here. Got the uh, the toe of the car ahead, actually. You know, he's invalidated there and he's coming to the pit lane. Definitely an easy one, Dutchie, to invalidate on the exit of, uh, of Stowe on that left-hand side. It does. I'm just thinking about what we can do best. I leave before quality ends and then come back in the race because my car will be on the grid and then maybe we get glitches. Uh, just uh, retire the car on the formation lap. Should be fine, I think. I don't know. Don't you get some glitches then? I don't know. I honestly do not know. <laughs> I mean, ghosting's on, so it, sh it shouldn't get in the way. But if you retire it, then the car will just move out of the way anyway. But uh, Jetsy on an outlap at the moment. The only driver yet to put in a time. I'll come follow Doharis to the chat. <coughs> Hope you're doing well. There's uh, Atom on a lap at the moment. It's coming, coming down into the village here. As... Uh, 
Atom doing very well at the moment into the DRS zone. I don't know how far he's going to be up on his time. Let's have a look as he comes through the first sec days. A hundredth up on his time. So, not... Oh, and he just invalidated on that curb there on the outside. That's going to impede his lap there. Let's have a look now. Dan Schneider coming through. Comps. And uh, let's see what he's able to do as he comes through Maggots and Beckett. I'm not actually sure whether he's on a lap at the moment. But flying through there. Out into the DRS zone. All right, it's a tenth down, so he possibly might come into the pit lane after this. Oh, very close quality at the moment, though, Dutchie, between the, the top five, all within a, within a tenth of each other. Yeah, I've got a feeling they will be close to 23s after the last, uh, last run. Yeah, I'm just having a look here at Rick Holt, who's currently on a lap at the moment. As he's 200 stuff coming into Brooklands. He's gone very, very deep, though, into Brooklands. And uh, Luffield's an interesting one. We're gonna go nice. We're gonna wide out mid apex and then cut back in for the exit. And he's invalidating on the exit of Brooklands, uh, on the exit of Luffield, sorry. And that's uh, invalidated Rick Holt's lap. His Ferrari teammate Norma Shadow just coming out of the village now down the Wellington Strait. And uh, let's see if he's gonna improve in the first sector. He does by 500. So. Improvements by small margins in the first sector from a lot of the drivers. And uh, let's see what Norma Shadow can do. Is He doesn't invalidate where his teammate did. He comes down the old start-finish straight now. Down into what used to be turn one. But is, uh, now the wonderful Cops takes it flat there as he comes down now towards Maggots, Beckett's and Chapel. Absolutely flying through there, and he oh, just saw that as he just invalidated on the inside of that curb, Dutchy. He looked like he was uh, he was up on his time, to be fair. Well, I see more or less is on purple sector. Purple in the first sector, purple. Yeah. Let's have I a look. I'm gonna look at the time because I was looking at your screen. Let's have a look and see. What uh, Maris is able to do is once again he now comes through Maggots Beckett's and uh, then <laughs> through the Chapel. Of ben, Roberts. Uh, ben Roberts says, We're tied on points in the Premier Series. Ah, oh, Ben, lovely. The battle is on then, Ben. The battle is on. As uh, Maris now he's 700 up. He must have lost a bit of time, Dutchy, in that middle sector because it wasn't purple, I don't think. So he comes now down into the final sector, down into Vale here. It's, it's going very overcast, Touchy. I think Black Country might be right. I think we, we were going to have some rain at the end of this session. And he was right as he comes to the line. Maris improves by a tenth <laughs> and goes four hundredths quicker to go in pole position over Z-Tech Oreos. Geek Fusion's retired. He's not going to be able to improve on his time. And the rain is now coming. And this could be really good for Maris, Touchy, because if the rain falls any heavier now in the final minute of this session... It's going to impede everyone who's trying to get in a good lap. Oh, they, oh apparently, ben, apparently Ben and Isaac, Dutch, are just behind me and, me and Ted in the constructors. So, the battle is on. The battle <laughs> is on. Here comes Jax now into the final few corners, down through Vale. See what he's oh. able to do as he comes around and crosses the line. Here comes Jax, and he goes Paul Dutchy by a tenth again. <laughs> How close is it here in the That's Super close League? Close and here comes Nabil Sick around the line. Will he improve? No, he goes a tenth down on his time. Who's next across the line? It looks like it's a racing point. Possibly Pope as he comes across the line. The rain's falling very heavily here. Dutchy Pope improves by two tenths. Goes up into ninth place. Can anyone else improve on their time? Mares is on a slow lap. Z-Tech Oreos can't improve. I think the rain's falling too heavy now. Possibly Atom's on a lap though. He comes flying through cops. Flat out here in the rain. I see what he's able to do here is 
at him flying through and he's gone very deep there through Beckett's and he runs wide on Chapel. Is he going to be up? No, he's 600s no. down. I think that's it. Dutchy, it's done. I think qualifying's done. I, think I don't. Mars I can't. And Jacks did the perfect timing for that lap. Definitely, but it is Pierce and Jack Stutchy once again. If anyone else, I don't think anyone else is going to improve, but I think it's going to be Jacks again on pole position. But can he hold it this time? Can he hold it? We'll just have to wait and see. Well, he said something in the other party, remember? Uh, I didn't actually hear it. Oh, it's poor Jetsy. Jax's AI car, the one that was that had retired, got right in the way of Jetsy's lap. Um, which is unfortunate. I don't know if Jetsy's going to be able to put in a time here. Oh, well, I think Rick he will put in a time. Him. I don't think Rickard's going to be able to improve on his time. The Jets at least get a lap in so we can go ahead of you on the grid. Would you believe it? Play Dutchie qualifies rock bottom in 19th place. I mean, that is a first. <laughs> yeah, really, really close qualifying here in the Super League. Top 10 to top 10 split by eight to six tenths Dutchie between the top 10 really really quick here in the Super League and uh, yeah some good qualifying all round as uh, can Rick Holt finish now and he does as uh, we look now to the grid so it's Pearson Jack uh, I think that's his third pole position of the season with uh, Mares in second, seven hundredths behind him, then Zeta Corio's in third, Nabil Sick in fourth, Atim in fifth, good qualifier from Toussaint in sixth, Rick Holt in seventh, Norma Shadow in eighth, Pope in ninth, Bon Evil in tenth, Geek Fusion in eleventh, Dan Schneider in twelfth, Pierre in thirteenth, Aston in fourteenth, Jojo Power in fifteenth, Natty in sixteenth, Wiggly Style in seventeenth, Jetsy in eighteenth, and then Play Dutchy, of course. He's just that bad, he goes bottom of the grid you know oh just that's <laughs> <laughs> welcome everyone don't don't challenge me <laughs> you know how that goes ah uh, yeah no nah, i'd rather not actually well welcome f1 lover uh, 26 people in the chat we need some more people come on get people coming over for the good super league race as uh, very, very close here. We're going to have some very close, very close racing. English is incredible. Um, it's, uh, it looks very dry so far, Dutchie. Well, I see. No. I see my screen because I do that, have to do that strategy because of the car is down track. Oh, yeah, we get a weather report. What's the weather? Yeah. I see a cloud with a with the sun behind it. The whole so way. it's so so it's just going to be cloudy pretty much. Yeah. Alrighty then. These guys are uh, guys are lucky. The British weather hasn't foiled them this time. That's surprising because usually the British weather um, it's usually horrendous. As. Uh, yeah, just see, if you retire now, Dutchie, what happens? I don't know. It doesn't let you retire on the formation, that doesn't it? No. Okay, so what you have to do is then, just, just retire. When, when the grid goes, just retire at the back. Like, manually retire, so then the game doesn't bring out, like, a safety car, virtual safety car, something. Here we go, then. Easy soft to medium on this track. It, it is really, really easy soft to medium. Like yesterday, I think I had like the but the end of both of my stints. I think I had like 50 some percent tire wear on both of them. It is a really easy soft to medium. The mediums and the softs can go really far on this track. So if there's an early safety car for the people on the softs, expect them possibly to pit for a set of mediums. I think. If it's first lap, I don't think they will. But if it's, say, around towards lap 10, I think definitely we'll, we'll see drivers come into the pits. Maybe even er if it's earlier than that, then uh, we're going to see uh, a lot of drivers 
pit then. Guy, a couple of guys outside the top 10 Dutch on the mediums. Jetsy, Natty, Jojo, Aston and Dan Schneider have all opted for the alternate strategy, the medium to soft. Now, sometimes that can work, Dutchie, because obviously you'll be, they'll be on lighter fuel towards the end of the race when they go onto the soft tyres. So that might possibly work out for them. So keep an eye on those guys. And uh, we'll have to see what's going to happen here. D Dutchie is not racing, F1 lover. He is the, nope. the, for some reason, the game put him in the, uh, in the lobby, even though it didn't even give him an option to press ready up or spectate. It literally just put him uh, straight into the lobby. I just really the weird. And I think already everyone read it up, and at that moment I joined, and it kicked me in the car. I didn't get the option, nothing. Fair enough. So I think I can better do one lap in a mineral tire on the pit. Probably the best thing. I probably just I, yeah, I would just sort of sneak around at the back. Yeah, I'm not going to pull out anything. As, uh, here we go then, so the lights won't be ready. And I touch you, I bet in your screen you haven't even chose your tyre selection yet or something. You probably still lined up on the grid or something. Like, cause the lights have already gone out on my screen. But here we go, so waiting everybody, everybody to... Uh, uh, five lights. Revving up. Five red lights here, no, and it's light sound, and away we go. And it looks like Jack's off to a good start. No, he isn't, because here comes Mares already onto the inside, and looks like he's going to be pressured already from Nabil Sick, as there's a couple of people going wide there. So there was an Alpha Tyrant running right. Two Six already lost the position off the bat. Norma Shadow getting past Geek Fusion as Atom and Nabil Sick here going wheel to wheel into the village. Atom down the inside of Jack's here. It's Bon Evil already up into, into eighth place. That's a really good start from her. And it's Mania down at the back there. I really cannot see what's happening as uh, Wiggly starts forming way down to, to the back, so I don't know what's happened to him, it's at him, and Jack's now going trying to go wheel to wheel here into Brooklyn's it's Norma Shadow and Pope now going wheel to wheel as Norma Shadow goes a little bit wide as uh, there's a Mercedes running quite wide there, Piero on the back of Geek Fusion as uh, Nabil Sick now right up behind at him, he's going to try and go wheel to wheel here through cops, and that is definitely not the best thing to do, but they made it work anyway, as Geek Fusion get, getting past Norma Shadow, it's run very wide Norma Shadow going to try and fight back here into Maggots and Beckett's and just gets ahead of him just before the set of corners and uh, seems to be pretty clean off the start so far Dutchie is so slow, god as oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, come, here comes the battle here between C Tech Oreos. Gonna try and go round the outside of Nabil Sick here. C Tech pushed wide. As they're gonna, both gonna go wheel to wheel now into Veil here. Both Nabil Sick and C Tech Oreos. Oreos is gonna run a little bit wide as Nabil forced off the grass. And Rick Holt's gonna go past him. And here comes Two Saint now to the to the inside and he gets the move done and uh, now Nabil Sick going to try and go around the outside of Two Saint but just can't get the move done there at the moment Nabil Sick just keeps on dropping back here is he going to possibly now look to the inside of Two Saint into the next corner as uh, Norma Shadow here having a little battle with Pope Pope's going to try and fight back here as best he can but Nabil Sick right behind Two Saint once again and he was going to try and look for the move there, but couldn't go for it. As Geek Fusion forced a little bit wide, and now Pope going around the outside here. As Geek Fusion having a little battle here with Piero. And he was trying to get the move done, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, you you have the balls, F1 lover. <laughs> what did he mate. say? <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, don't you so bad retiring because he's slow. <laughs> As a, what a start by Mara's though, this is going to help him in his championship fight a lot here, but he's got Jax right on his tail, followed by Atom not far behind, there's a gap of a second to second in the championship of uh, Z-Tech Oreos, then Rick Holt, then Toussaint, then Nabil Sick, Bon Evil, Norma Shadow, then Pope round out the top 10 at the moment, Geek Fusion right behind him as Jojo Power getting past Piero actually, I think Piero made a bit of a mistake there into Stowe, and that's allowed Dan Schneider to get right on the back of him here as uh, the fastest laps come flying in from everyone, looks like Z-Tech Oreos going to claim it at the moment here, has uh, got a real good race on our hands here between the Super League guys as Piero right up behind Jojo Power. Will we see any moves down into the village? And uh, it could turn into quite a large DRS train we'll have here, Dutchie, in for the first few laps. Yeah, it's good. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. Also, real Formula 1. 
Oh yeah, we've got drivers so close to each other in the Super League though, but it looks like everyone getting off to a clean start so far, and I'm going to say that now, and then I'll probably jinx it, someone will come spinning off into the wall and blow up, because that's usually what happens when I say things like that. But, Don't uh, say it then. Right, well, like, well, what else do you expect to say? Oh, everyone had a bad start, it was awful. <laughs> Thank yeah. God. As uh, Pope here, right on the back of Norma Shadow, and uh, it's closest gap we've got track of the month. Piero right up behind Jojo Power, actually. And uh, he won't be going for the move here. Is that like, the gap for the leaders is getting closer and closer Jack between these two? Morris. Yeah, Jax isn't going to let him go that easily. Is a uh, Geek Fusion right on the back of Pope? Piero now possibly looking for the move with Jojo, but just a little bit too far back at the moment to do that. And uh, everyone, Dutch, he's so close here in the Super League at the moment. There's just no overtakes because everyone's just caught in this huge train of cars with the with the DRS and with the slipstream. It's just there's no maneuvers for overtaking unless any unless someone makes a mistake. But uh, so close here in the Super League. As uh, uh, things will happen now because the DRS if, the DRS is activated. So. Yeah, if anybody drops outside that DRS range, then could be a little bit in trouble from the cars behind. Possibly trying to overtake them, but the, the main uh, main area I can see that being an overtake is for the lead of the race, Dutchie, because Mara has no DRS ahead of him. Obviously, he's got no cars there, so it could be the opportunity for Jax to, to pounce on a move. But we'll keep an eye on that here as uh, we go down now past the old pit lane into Cops, and uh, Cops... Definitely not flat out in the opening stages of the race when your car is at its heaviest. But uh, towards the end of the race, it does become flat. As uh, Everyone lover says everyone is in DRS, but Toussaint... No, yeah, Bunny Toussaint was almost dropping outside of the DRS. Almost. As here comes Jack Star Dutchie. This could be the move for the lead of the race here into Stowe. Will he look for it? No. He got really close there to the back of uh, Mares and just couldn't go for the move. Just wasn't close enough. There is a battle happening at the back here as Weekly Star goes down the inside of Aston to get back up into 16th place. And it's not been the best of starts for both Haas drivers, both currently outside, quite far down the grid actually. Didn't, they didn't have the best of qualifiers either. But there are a few gaps opening, as, as you said, Dutchie, with the, with the DRS. Uh, that gap now, two safe behind Rick Holt, 1.5 seconds. Rick Holt dropping almost back out of a second there. So the car's ahead, but still has DRS. Two safe doesn't now. So this could be an interesting battle between him and Nabil. This Bon Evil actually dropped out of that slipstream as well. Here comes, uh, it goes for a move actually. Could possibly be Pope on the inside of Norma Shadow and just couldn't go for the move there at the moment. And uh, it's just going to stay behind. Right, Jax is careful. As uh, Pope still close possibly behind the MRS, the moon. so uh, yeah, hopefully Pope. he will do something now. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, the other racing point, right? Run. The other racing point, right up behind the Ferrari. Norma Shadow, but here goes for the move now, as he said. Here comes Jax now. Will he possibly look for the move to the inside? Yes. He's going to go for it into Stowe. And nice and easily gets the move done. Good move there for Jack Stutchy. Yeah, nice and clean. That's what we like to see. Get their yields behind Tim, pretty close. Yeah, it's really close here between these top five. A second splits all of them. So these top five that we saw so close in the start in the quali, now really really close here in here at the moment in the race. Two cents dropped quite far back, but it's keeping Nabil sick behind him at the moment. And uh, that gap opened up to about two seconds. And uh, don't forget, a lot of things will come into play here, obviously with the penalties and all this, or everything like that. And uh, nobody going to be going for some moves up front, though. It's Mares getting as close as he can up behind Jax. And... Uh, would you just would you play the waiting game here, Dutchie? I'm sure you would. Prob you probably wouldn't want to go aggressive really quickly. Just uh, keep within the DRS, keep it consistent, and then uh, go for it. Oh, we've got a spinner. Geek Fusion round on the exit of Luffield, and that's put him quite far back now, all the way to the back of the grid there. Must have got on the gravel there, I think. 
Uh, maybe too much or too early on total. Possibly, I'm not too sure. Oh, someone's running across the grass there on Look the exit the of chapel. Four guys up front. Yeah, it's really, really close between the front runners as Sitek is right up behind at him. And it's really close between the guys towards the back as well. It's it's close between everyone, to be fair. <laughs> Dutchy, uh, Wolfie's put something in the chat, which you'll find quite amusing. <laughs> as, uh, yeah, so close between these top five here. And then there's a little battle here between uh, Toussaint and Nabil Sick, and then a gap back to Bonnie Evil with the next group of drivers, so that's where it stands at the moment. Possibly is going to be a move, though. It's going to be Nabil Sick to the inside of Toussaint now, and he's going to get the move done up into sixth position. It's a move done down the inside of Brooklyn's there, Dutchie. Yeah, if you look in the on board of Sitakorios, you can, uh, could see the battle happening. That's a, yeah, it's a... Right, big battle happening up front, but yeah, Nabil's sick though, he's, he's dropped too far back at the moment, Dutchie, would you say, to, to get involved in this front battle, because he, he's been stuck behind two same for a number of laps now. <laughs> they keep bullying me in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good you can say, hello, uh, watched it while you, pra uh, you watch while you practice the race, well yeah, fair enough. Keep watching, it's going to be an exciting su uh, Super League race as Pope down the inside of Bon Evil gets the move done. Wigley style on the inside and Natty gets the move done down into Stowe. And it's Bonnie right up behind Pope trying to look for the move again. Norma Shadow going to try and get involved as well in this battle. And these guys really close to each other. Here just on the edge of the points. And a couple of people starting to pick up some uh, time penalties now. Tim is uh, on a hard battle with Morass, Morass and Jax. They are so close. Yeah, they are really, really close between each other, these guys up front. I don't think there's going to be any moves or Dutch. I think it's just this big train of, of DRS that these guys are caught in at the moment. No, if anyone goes for a move, it's going to break it up for other people and they'll just be left vulnerable. So... That's the issue that we've got at the moment. A bit more because Ooh, it's going wide from Bonnie Evil had a big chunk of oversteer and oversteered into the side of Norma Shadow. But in the end went back round the outside of Jojo Power, who went down the inside of that battle. And then Bonnie back up into eighth place. There was a little bit of a tussle between those three there going through Love Field. Really close between these Super League yeah. guys at the moment, Dutchie. Really close. Oh, this is uh, what I miss, those battles, but not the game. <laughs> yeah, and it can be can be really close Come in on, the Super on League. Oh, yeah, it's every, Tim every, going in. Going everyone, box. Oh, yeah, it's Tim. Early pit stop for Tim. I don't, I don't think he's got any damage, but that's a really early pit stop for the Alfa Romeo driver. And it, Dutchie, is that a super undercut? What, what is that that he's done there? Maybe he's doing another soft stand and then medium. Why, why would but the tyre wear though? It's not even that... Uh, he's gone to the medium, so he's going to take those to the end, Dutchie. Nah, maybe he's going for the softs on the last stand so he can push hard, lighter car. Less uh, tyre wear. <clears throat> maybe, I'm not too... Not too sure. Oh my god, Dirty Larry's here. Welcome back, Dirty Larry. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Dirty Larry's back! Wow, Dirty Larry, I missed you, man. I missed you. God, when was the last time I commentated on one of your races? God, it was when it, it was... Must have been... Was it the Academy? It must have been Dirty Larry, was it not? Or you in the Freshman? I can't remember now. God, it's been a long time, mate. It's been a long time. As uh, so Z-Tech Oreos right up behind Mares. Mares has lost a, a little bit of time there to Jax, but it's not going to gain it all back, Dutchie, with the DRS. And this is the problem here. If someone's slow out of a corner, say, say Mares says slow out of Maggots Beckett and Chapel, he's then gonna not, not going to be able to gain enough to get past Jax, and then Oreos just is going to follow behind him, and so will... Uh, so will uh, uh, Rick Holt, so it's kind of the thing I've got at the moment. Oh, a few people now into the pits, Dutchie. I see uh, the pit is open in lap 
10 to 13. They are going for mediums. Looks like, it looks like Atim then just went for uh, quite a big undercut. It looks like he's yeah. that's what he's gone for. I hope As, it works, uh, yeah, hopefully it does. There's two Saint into the pits now. Him alongside Pope, Norma Shadow and Bon Evil, oh, the next set of drivers. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here comes the move. Mara is going to go down the inside here with the race leader. They're going to go wheel to wheel here through Love Field. And in the end, it's a good move back from uh, Jax. And Sita Kora's looked to the inside of Mara's there, Dutchie, but just couldn't get the move done. No, oh, he had a better entry because Mara's had to go wide. That's uh, so close between these drivers up front. As uh, these four, will they all pit at the same time, Dutchie? They're all in different teams, so they, they could all pit and yeah, all Morris. come out pretty much in the same area. Sita Kroos or Mahrez, pretty yeah, close. Yeah, he's, he's right Mahrez behind him now. Sita did a dummy on the last uh, lap to go in. But... Let's see if he does it this time. Will any of these guys come in or any of them stay out? Jack's going Jack's in, is in. going in. Mahrez Sita Kroos is, is going out. You no, know, Sita stayed out, interestingly. Oh, and Ma Jack's picked up a five-second time penalty for Dutchie for speeding in the pit lane. Yeah, he's, he, he's punishing himself. He's, he keeps doing that after a race. It's unfortunate there, but Z-Tech Orioles and Nabil 6 stay out. Uh, Georgia Power stays out, but he's on a set of mediums. Piero stays out on his set of softs. And uh, the rest of the medium runners obviously all stay out. So let's see where Atom is actually, Dutchie, because will he, will he undercut these guys here as he comes round through club now, down the Hamilton straight. Will he get them now into the first corner? And he's going to get... Oh, will he get them? It's going to be so close that he does, Dutchie, undercut them all. All four of them. And Atom Grin is now into the net lead of this race, and he's undercut every single one of those front four people. That, that's incredible from Atom. The undercut's so strong around this track. Really, really strong undercut around here. Well, he has two laps all the tires, then. So I hope but, it doesn't uh, get a puncture in the end. Or nah, too much tire wear. I, I don't think... I don't, yeah, he might struggle a bit with tire wear at the end compared to the other drivers, but I, I highly doubt he's going to get a puncture on this track with the uh, the tire wear. But, you know, anything can happen. But Atom now in the net lead of this race. And with these two battling, Jackson and, and Atom, Maris has, Maris has dropped back a second after that pit stop. Rick Holt dropped a further second back behind him after the pit stop. So, maybe it's not being good for those guys. Now that he can come between Moraes and Jax. Well, c Tech Orioles that. is in. Nabil Sick is in and Piero in. So that's the rest of the soft runners, Dutchie, into the pits. Geek Fusion, I can imagine. Has, oh, he's actually stayed out, interestingly, is Geek Fusion. Here okay, comes Jax down to the inside of Atim through Vale, and he gets the move done. And up into... Uh, the net, technically the net lead of this race, unless they get jumped, but Oreos is going to come out just ahead of Mares. Mares going to go to the outside, though, Dutchie right off of the pit lane, and now Mares going to be on the inside through Village, and he gets the move done on Oreos. No, Oreos going to get the cutback. The cutback now is Oreos will have, <laughs> Oreos will have nice. a DRS, and that's the move done for C-Tech Oreos, and he had DRS as well, and that's bunched this pack back up again to four drivers. Rick Holtz dropped back a little bit, but might be able to get themselves back into this battle here with these drivers if these guys keep on battling but it was a big exchange there is Atim undercut them all Jack's got past him in a wheel to wheel between Maris and C-Tech Oreos they're just coming out of the pit lane yeah, Maris lost the most after the pit stops yeah I think uh, Maris definitely did because he's now behind Oreos behind Atim and uh, that's not going to be good for him. Uh, uh, you've kind of missed a huge undercut and then a a side by side moment. One person coming out the pit lane, the other guy, the other guy going round the outside, who was already on a lap and was pretty incredible actually. But Geek Fusion into the pits now, Dutchie, uh, for his stop. And I think he's going to drop back quite a few positions because of the way yeah. the undercut's so powerful on this track. The overcut is is not as great. But he will be on fresher tyres, though. So 
should try and get himself back into this race. And we'll have to see how, how it fares, Dutchy, for those guys on the alternate strategy on the mediums. The top five at the moment, currently on the, the mediums. If you see how that the, works out for them. Fall on Lido, uh, you can already calculate how far they will drop back. It's like 33 seconds was a pit stop. Is it on this track? Is it 30 yeah. seconds? Well, that means that they drop all the way back to like 15, 16th place. Well, Geek Fusion but, is 18th, so. Terribly I think might. if Natty and Aston will pit, then they will drop just behind Geek Fusion. Possibly, we'll have to see how it fares, but those five drivers still have to make a pit stop. Everyone else here at the moment. Uh, in the rest of the grid have made a pit stop and uh, once again really really close between these guys in the Super League and uh, Atom trying to keep up with Jax here and th this is where Z-Tech Orioles needs to make his move Dutchie Atom's on all the tyres Z-Tech now needs to make his move because if Atom can't keep up with Jax then Jax is going to pull out of that DRS range and, uh, and then pull away from the rest of this pack here yeah, but Citac Orioles has pace. He's shown it because he's one more lap he did on softs and got in front of Mares. And he caught up with Tim and Jax. So uh, probably if he passes Tim, then he will uh, go for the hunt on Jax. Yeah, Citac Orioles now right up behind at him now. He's trying to look for the move. And uh, just can't go for it then down the Wellington straight. And uh, it's going to stay behind at him for now. Is Nabil Sick actually gaining on Rick Holt? Rick Holt's had a huge moment there on the exit of Luffield. And now Nabil Sick right up behind Rick Holt here. Rick Holt's dropped, dropped quite far back after those pit stops, Dutchie. He doesn't seem to be faring well on those medium tyres at the moment. He's picked, just picked up another three seconds on his penalty. Oh, yeah. Nabil yeah, Nabil sit right behind him, but you got to remember as well, Dutchie, Jack still has that five-second penalty, but here comes Nabil sit now to the outside, down the hangar straight, and he gets the move done just before Stowe. And uh, Nabil sit up into 10th position now. And the Orioles on at him to the outside through Vale. Now he's going to be on the inside. And he does get the move done past at him up into seventh position now. And he's still just touchy within DRS range of Jax. And now it's, it's push time for Orioles because he has to not let Jax pull away here. Even though Jax, remember, he has that five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. If he doesn't serve it in a pit stop, then he will, ha he will have to serve it at the end of the race. It'll be added on. A bit of an exchange here between the two Haas drivers, Aston and Natty. Z-Tech Orioles immediately Dutch. He gets that gap back down to under a second. And, uh, yeah, now it's the turn of Mares. Can he get past Atom? The undercuts worked for him, Dutchie, but I think he maybe undercut a little bit too early. I think two laps early was too much. I think one lap maybe yes, to preserve the tyres, but I think there's a bit, bit of a tyre difference there between those drivers now. Yeah, maybe he can lose his pace as well because he's jumped on the other tyre compound and, yeah, they can suit you or not. Yeah, we'll have to, have to see how this battle is going to turn out. As Georgia Power into the pits, so here come the medium runners now, Dutchie. In two of them, anyway, into the pits. Aston comes in as well. Natty stays out. Obviously, they don't want to be double stacking the Haas team. Don't want to lose too much time. Jetsy stays out as well because he doesn't want to double stack with Dan Schneider. They start for an extra lap. Let's see where these guys will fare. Because they'll be on the fresh, they'll be on fresh softs. So... Let's see how they do. This pit lane is the ridiculously long. It's stupid. I'm going to it's say, I love, I love every part of this track apart from its stupid pit lane. It's just, it's awful. <laughs> it, ta it takes, it's 37 miles an hour. Why? It's, the pit limit line starts two miles up the road. Why? And there's an extra 200 meters on the end of the pit lane where there's no pit boxes. Why? There's just no point. Well, you keep saying why, but you're, you're English, so it's your home track. So. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. I love yeah, every part about done. this track, apart from the pit lane, because it's awful. 
As uh, people picking up some penalties. Now he's just picking up a three seconds there. That'll uh, add on to his time. So uh, to be fair, actually, Dan Schneider comes out. Judge of Power comes out ahead of Piero, actually. Piero, what's happened to Piero this race? Dutch just hasn't seemed to be able to get into it on this track. I haven't seen it. No, he's, I, I don't think anything happened to him in terms of on track. I just don't think he's been on pace today. He's uh, definitely dropped back quite a bit. The man who's been, who is, has been in second place in the championship for two seasons in a row in the Super League is uh, not having the best of seasons this season in his Mercedes, but uh, well, uh, yeah, not being able to find the pace today. I'm looking at the race director with the pit stops. Maybe I jinxed it because of saying this, but no one had done a wing change. Yeah, so it's nice uh, clean racing. Definitely some really good clean racing between everyone. And once Ooh, again, Jack sideways. Ooh, did he have a bit of a moment? The first. Oh, Zeta Gorius has had a moment because here comes at him to the outside here, Dutch. He's going to try and go for it now into Luffield around the outside. And Atom is back into the lead of this race. What a battle between these front runners here. It's now Atom now leads the race. Zeta Gorius in second. Jax has dropped to third. And the championship leader, Mares is down in fourth. And all this is doing is allowing Nabil Sick. The other student and now Nabil Sick to go for it. He goes these two into the wheel to wheel into Cobbs between Jackson and Mares. And so they're still going to go wheel to wheel into Mackett's Beckett's and Chapel. And Mares, and it's Jax who gets the win over Mares in that battle. And, and I, they went wheel to wheel into Cobbs. That was incredible. Yeah, what I noticed on Jax is he's struggling with the rear because he stepped out a couple of times uh, the exit of the corner. Yeah, possibly he might be running slightly different on the aero, maybe, or the roll bar, I don't know, maybe some with the setup, or maybe he's just struggling with the rear, we don't know, but uh, he's still keeping with the front runners here, and look, look, look who's joined the battle, Dutchie, Nabil Sick and Rick Holt have now joined the train of cars for the lead of the race, will anybody else join them, we do say it might be able to, but uh, just remember, this battle for the lead, Rick Holt has six seconds of penalties, Dutchie. Da Jax has a five-second penalty for speeding in the pit lane, and that could be very costly at the end of this race. Also, Rick Holt, he was behind, uh, the, yeah, he was in fifth. So another sick did a good job to overtake him there. Yeah, as uh, Apple Sick now joining the, the battle here for the lead. There's a poll going on at the moment for who will win this race. It's between Atom, Jack, Zetek, and Mares. <laughs> Let's see who's. Let's see what you guys think. Don't forget, Nabil Sick involved in this battle as well. Rick Holt just outside it. He's he's on the brink of being within DRS range, Dutchy, but he's not quite there yet. No, well, I think he's saving us to do another attack. Um, possibly. Well, he's on 3% right now. Uh, Nabil Sick on 10%. The per I'll tell you, the person with the most EIS at the moment, Dutchie, in this battle is the race leader at him. As Jojo Power goes down the inside of Pope, gets the move done. I think Dan Schneider just got the move done on Piero as well. And these, these are the guys on the fresh softs, Dutchie, now fighting their way through the grid. Jojo Power's done well, actually. It's up into ninth now. Remember, Bonnie has that three-place grid drop. So at the moment... Uh, will be outside the top 10 in the position she is in. Obviously, there's going to be even more uh, race penalties added on. But uh, the battle still goes on between these front runners. I think Jojo, if he passes Bunny, then he can go for the Oh, is this contact between Pope and Dan Schneider? Dan Schneider just tapped the back of Pope, sent him into a half spin, and then Piero made the move. But here comes Norma Shadow trying to get involved as Piero's going to go around the outside, and then Norma Shadow going to go around the outside of, uh, of Dan Schneider, now on the inside through Luffield, and Norma Shadow's going to get the move done on Dan. And Piero now right up behind Pope. And now we've got a battle here for the lower end of the points. It's a battle for the final point here between these four. That, 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 that sparked out of not that sparked out of literally Dan Schneider tapping the back of Pope. And then it sent everyone into just this huge cluster going into Luffield. 
God, that was a, was a bit of a mad moment. Now, see Tecorio's for the lead here, possibly. No, just not going to be not going to be able to get close enough. As it comes Jojo Power now to the inside of Bon Evil. Not going to be able to make the move there. Will he go down the inside into Vale? He's going to look for it there as Piero goes round down the inside of Poop. There's a lot of contact, but no damage done as these guys here getting the move done. As Pope, Piero trying to find a way past Pope, and he just can't get past at the moment. Will he try it now into Village? Possibly now Pope going to go defensive as Piero's going to go round the outside here. Is Norma Shadow going to look to the inside of Piero? He's going to go round the outside of Piero now. What a battle between these guys. Is Norma Shadow on the outside coming down the straight? Who's going to have DRS? They both do. Is Norma Shadow, will he get pop pass? Here comes Dan Schneider though. He's going to look to the outside of Piero. Norma Shadow going to go round the outside of Pope and now he's going to look to the inside as well. Is Dan Schneider going to go down the inside of Piero and then he gets the move done if Piero might try and fight back but he's going to concede the position for now and what a battle between these guys Dutchie, what a battle. Well that's more intense than the top five because they still drive behind each other. Oh Mares is trying maybe? No, just stays behind Jax. Yeah, I'm sure this might intensify in the final six laps where people might start going for moves, deploying everything they can. Here comes Jojo Power now to the inside of Bon Evil, and it's going to get the move done. And uh, it's up into eighth position now. And uh, it's very good work from uh, Jojo, actually, Dutchie, because uh, he started quite far down the, uh, the grid. Yeah, he's moved up seven positions in this race, so Jojo Power doing very well. Uh, Atom up four for the lead of the race at the moment. But yeah, Georgia Powell, the biggest gainer in this race, and he's done very well so far to get himself up into the top ten. Mares on Jax. Yeah, this could be the move. Here comes Mares down the inside of it. Jax double six gonna follow through. And there's contact. There's now <laughs> Pierce and Jax now on the inside. Can he hold it here? And he's gonna get the move done. Jax struggling so much on the rear Dutchie. And <laughs> Is Nabil Sick now going to go to the inside through Cops? Will he get the move done? Oh, there's a bit of contact! As Jax runs very, very wide, and now Jack's going to go wheel to wheel with Nabil Sick into Maggots, Beckett's, and Chapel, and Jax gets the move back on Nabil Sick. This is an extraordinary race here between these guys. This, it could be a battle again, Dutch. Remember those back four for the points here. It's so possibly looking for a move for the lead here on for Z Tech Orioles. It isn't going to go for it there. We possibly might see a move though between these guys towards the back. Dan Schneider right up behind Pope. Will he, will he look for the move here into Stowe? Pope might look for the move on the inside though. No, Dan Schneider can't get the move done either. Will anybody try now into Vale? Dan Schneider, he might go round the outside. He's, he's going to look for it into Vale. And it, it's all spicing up here at the end of this race. Everybody trying to push for those positions, Dutchie. Now the race is really starting to heat up. Yeah, what? Two battles on track. Or two groups. Oh, is that some big lunge from Dan Schneider? Is he's going to try and go around the outside again? For Pope, and he runs a little bit deep, and he just can't get the move done there. And the battle still continues up front as well. These guys still going strong up front. Can anybody make the moves for the for the lead of this race? Jax is out of it at this point, unless anybody else picks up any penalties. But he's got that five second for in the pit lane. And uh, he's going to drop quite far back down. He's going he's to yeah, drop behind be Nabil. Uh, no, because Rick Holt's got six seconds. So he actually just dropped to... Oh, no, he's got eight seconds down as Jax. I didn't realise that. So, yeah, he's, he's going to drop a little bit back. But no movement up front yet, Dutchie. No, he's always just looking for it. I mean, this this could be huge in the championship. If Atim wins this, Oreo's in second, Mara's in third. This is going to bunch these three up in the Super League, in the championship. It's going to be very, very close, the points at the end of this race, in terms of who in terms of who's going to be leading the championship. It's Bon Evil now trying to look for the move back on Jojo Power and just can't go for the move there at the moment. It's going to follow him through the first few corners here. 
Possibly might try it now. He's going to judge. He's going to go defensive now. And uh, Bonnie will still right on the back of Georgia Power. And it's a battle for the lead of the race here. Z-Tech Oreos has gone down the inside of Atom for the lead of the race here, Dutchie. And Z-Tech Oreos now leads over Atom. And Atom now, could this be the time, Dutchie, where he's going to be struggling on those on those medium tires? You see, he's putting up a fair fight, to be fair, on them. He's opened up a good gap to Mares behind. But Atom not doing too badly on those on those three lap old medium tires, three lap older sorry medium tires. Well, yeah, don't forget he has more errors than Citec Royals. Citec Royals is almost empty, and Tim has almost fifty percent. Yeah, is Atom gonna get as close as he can behind Oreos? This could be this could go down to final lap here, Dutchie. At this point, it. Could genuinely be final lap in this race as Bon Evil now going to look to the outside here of Jojo Power. He's going to go round the outside through Stowe. Oh, has Jojo got very snaily there on the rear, but he managed to hold it. And that was that was oh, that was close there from Jojo. He almost lost the car. As, uh, but managed to hold it in the end. Insanely close. It's so, so close Within between these seconds. guys. Yeah, it's so close between these guys in the Super League at the moment. So who is going to win this race? I, it, it could be anyone, really. Like, this is incredible battle between these guys up front. It's keeping so close between each other here. Top five, once again. We saw it yesterday in the Premier Series. We've seen it again here in the Super League. The top five so close. Is anyone gonna? It, it's gonna be. It's gonna be one person, Dutchie. It's like a game of cat or mouse. Who will go first? <laughs> who will? Who will make the move oh. first? Jax is right up behind. Uh, right up behind Mares. Is he trying to look for the move there? It's no one's gonna be able to make the moves done at the moment. The gap's just too big. Just a huge train of DRS. And Atim, Dutchie, Atim and Mares both have the most DERS out of anyone. Then it's Jax, Nabil's sick, and then Orioles has the least ERS out of all of them. He's currently leading the race, so could come down to whoever has the most, whoever's got the ERS, the power behind their car to make the overtakes towards the end of this race. We're on the penultimate lap. Who's going to take the win here in the Super League? This is crucial in the championship. If Atom wins this, this could be a big win for him and the Alfa Romeo team because that would close that gap up. He's and he's going it. to be going for the move now. He's going to, going to go around the outside here. And here comes Nabil Sick now, possibly looking for the move on Jackson. He couldn't get the move done, but Atom back up into the lead of this race. This is an incredible battle between these guys as Atom now leads here, here in Silverstone. Can see uh, Tech Orioles snatch it back off of him? I don't know. If Maras keeps the full attack on Citek Orioles, then he won't be first. I think Tim did it lap too early. Possibly, yeah, because Orioles might be able to get back in. On this, uh, long straight where they are now. Oh, is Nabil sick? It's got past Jax. Jax has made a mistake, Dutchie. Look how far he's dropped back. Because he's yeah, now think... DR Rick, Rick Holt. We're in DRS range now. I think the backhand just stepped out, maybe. Because he's it struggling must have. on the rear. Yeah, it must have. Because he, he, he's dropped quite far back now on these tyres. And uh, really struggling here. Atom now leads this race. He's got three, he's got two fierce competitors right behind him. Nabil Sick not far away, but it's, I think it's a bit too far back at the moment unless anything happens here. As Oreo's right up behind him. These three, the top three in the championship, currently battling away here in the Super League. As Rick Holt right up behind Jax. Rick Holt might look for the move here, Dutchie, and he's going to go for it. Rick Holt now to the inside, he's going to get the move done nice and early. For Brooklyn, and he'll get the move done. And Jax has dropped so far back here um, on Rick Holt, but I don't think Jax is going to lose any positions unless he picks up another penalty because uh, he's only got a two-second gap between penalties between him and two Saint. But then the gap's actually five seconds on track. But here we go, Dutchie. 
Final time. Mares is Mares is giving this car everything it has now. I'm sure he wants to get past the tech or as he has to. He's not oh, had a good exit though. Exit. He's not had a good exit at all. Here this comes Oreos. It. We'll see Tech Oreos now get the move done, though he isn't. Mares, I think, is too far back. Jack's going to get the move back on Rick Hole, and he does so. Will anybody look for a move now into Vale, though? Is it going to go forward there? Come around the final few corners now. It's going to be Atom Grin to take his face. I believe it's his first win of the season. Oreos in second, and the championship leader, Mares, in third. And that's a huge mix-up in, in terms of the Drivers' Championship. Because Atom in third in the in the championship just with one. Ctech is second in the championship, second. Mara's leading. He's in third. Incredible race between these guys. Nabil sick fourth. Rick Hawk fifth. Jackson sick. Two Saint will take seventh. He'll be happy with that. Bonnie were in eighth, but will drop back three positions. And we'll find out what happened at the end of that. But what a what a race. What, what a, a race, don't you? On the top five, definitely. That's a that is a brilliant brilliant drive there from yeah. it's the grid the grid was so close though like I, the, the, there was no gap like larger Dutchy between drivers than about five seconds I think there, there wasn't any gap bigger in that in that race it was uh, what, what a five the last oh we have yeah. an intro dot <laughs> <laughs> what a what 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 a drive from these guys what yeah. a drive. Let's have a look, I, though, at the final standings, because I haven't seen them. Carry on. I think Tim, yeah, he did a bit of a gamble, but it worked out for him. And then yeah. a mature drive for the for the drivers out there. Definitely. Well, if we look at the standings now, so it was Jack's sixth, two seconds at Bonneville at eighth, but we'll drop back one, two, three positions. So that will push Aston. Aston will get a point in the end. Uh, Dash Schneider finished in ninth, will get eighth. Pope in tenth, will get ninth. Aston in tenth. Uh, in 11th we'll get 10th, Bonnie will finish 11th in the end, Georgia Power in 12th, Piero 13th, Weekly Style in 14th, Natty in 15th, Geek Fusion 16th, Norma Shadow 17th, Jetsy in 18th. What a drive from these guys, and Dutchy, a mysterious one there, Piero outside of the points by quite a margin, it wasn't his day today was it, in that Mercedes, but his teammate in the end got 6th, so it really wasn't his day today. Uh, I keep saying he's missing me as a teammate, I think. <laughs> yeah, he needs you back as a teammate. Why did you leave him? I didn't leave him. I left the game. So you left him? No. If you left the game, you left him? No. He didn't follow yes. me on TD Sport. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't yeah. race. I... <laughs> I've been thinking of, yeah, people just keep saying, bullying me now that Dutchy slow, <laughs> Dutchy 19, and, you know, I've maybe after the championship is done, maybe I, yeah, want to join the last race if it's possible. Maybe. See where I stand after uh, I'll see. season. Yeah, maybe, I'll, I'll see, I'll see what I can do for you, if the championship's wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If it isn't, then yeah, it's a no-go. Aye. But yeah, what a what a race! Uh, thank you, everyone, loving in the chat. It was an amazing race. Um, yeah, great race from all these Super League drivers, and that has closed this championship duchy right up. So it's going to be very, very close between these. That's that Super League top three now for the drivers' championship. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like, but we'll find out next week when uh, all the points have been uh, been added up. Thank you, uh, thank you, Dirty Larry. Uh, nice to see you again in the chat. Uh, I've lost you. Was here. Ben Roberts, Black Country was here before. Wolfie was here. Dan was here. <coughs> so many people were here in the, the chat. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I can't speak now because I'm just sneezing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, everyone, chat. for joining. <laughs> ben, Ben, no, Ben, don't, 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 Ben, Ben, you, no, Ben, you don't understand what you've got yourself in for. Ben, first, I'm sorry, you wouldn't beat him at F1, and secondly, you won't beat him at GT Sports, so, you, you, I'm sorry, mate, but that's the facts. But yeah, brilliant drive from the Super League today, brilliant race, uh, nice to have you back joining me again, Dutchie. 
Yeah, it was, it was good. It was, yeah. I don't, I don't like the game anymore. But being with you in this party box, uh, yeah, it's just all fun. It's all good. Good to see like the good, the good, good to see the claim battles. And I really don't think there's yeah. going to be many, many claims. I don't think there'll be any claims at all. To us. I didn't really see much, if I'm honest. Didn't see many. Uh, uh, yes, Ben Roberts. Uh, Ben, um, just to let you know, he, he is a two-time Super League champion, mate. So I don't know why you've done that. Did you not watch last season's Super League? He won that <laughs> Super League championship. Oh, yeah, and you know the one before in F1 2019? Yeah, he won that one as well. Um, so you... Ah, Ben Roberts. Uh, you made a <laughs> silly mistake is what I did. Anyway, thank you for everyone for joining. We had 40 some people in watching at one point. And, uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining, and we will see you all. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow for the GG Sport Race. Tune in for them. will be around Monza, final time in the Group 3. So we'll see you all then, guys.